let's use the nail to diagnose some nutritional deficiencies. The outside of the body gives you a lot of clues on what's going on inside. Just as a plant, if there's any type of problems in the plant, can tell you what's going on in the soil. All right, the first presentation is where you have this vertical discoloration in the center of your nail. That could be low protein, that can be low vitamin D, or B12. Now, you're going to be deficient in B12 if you have low protein, because B12 usually comes from animal protein. All right, next presentation, you have horizontal lines that go across. That can be low vitamin B3, low calcium, or low zinc. Now, the next presentation has to do with that little white speck in your nail. That is a zinc deficiency mostly caused because the person is on a high carb diet. And because it takes six months for the nail to grow, you can sort of identify a time when you had a lot of carbohydrate because if it's right in the center, it could have been three months ago. All right, the next presentation is where you have this little chip on your nail. Now that could also cross over if you have brittle nails, but if you get these little chips that just, you bang your nail and then you have this little chip that pops off, that could be low vitamin B6 or low magnesium. But it can also be in this next presentation where we're talking about brittle nail, low iron or low hydrochloric acid. Now, if you're low in hydrochloric acid, you're not gonna be able to absorb magnesium or iron too well. So you just might need to add more acid to be able to absorb these minerals. Now, if the nail is all white, it could be that you're just very protein deficient or your kidney or your liver is damaged or you took this antibiotic that could be causing this presentation. If the nail is really, really soft, okay, it's not very strong, that can be low calcium. Calcium gives the strength of the nail, makes it very rigid, and you may need vitamin D to help you absorb that calcium because vitamin D helps the absorption of calcium by 20 times. In this next presentation, we have a club nail, kind of a box-like um, square. And that is usually a heart problem, or it could be a liver problem, or a lung issue because you don't have enough oxygen. All right, next presentation is the spoon effect. If the nail starts coming up like that, that is an iron deficiency. So as you can see, certain minerals or certain vitamins can create different effects on the nail. Now, if your nail is a bit bluish, that can be low oxygen. If your nail is a bit too yellow, that can be jaundice, which is a liver problem. That occurs when there's obstruction in your bile ducts. So it can also be related to your gallbladder, in which case you need bile salts. In this next presentation, we have the lower part of the nail, which is either discolored or you lost that little uh, luna, that little horizontal white presentation at the bottom of your nail. That is usually liver cirrhosis. It could be a heart problem or diabetes. Now, if your nail is becoming distorted or it's excessively thick, or you have these horizontal ridges in the center part, that is usually low biotin, which is a B vitamin. In this next presentation, you have these vertical red lines. These are broken capillaries. This is low vitamin C. If you have this condition, you may also have bleeding gums. You can have little spider veins uh, in various parts of your body. In this last presentation, we have these vertical ridges. This could be quite a few things. It could be low protein, a high carb diet, it could be low B12 or low iron because you're not getting enough protein because most B12 and iron comes from animal protein. All right. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.